when it comes to estate planning, you probably are familiar with a will, and we will be talking about a will. But we're going to first talk about what I call living documents. And living documents are those documents that protect you while you're alive. So maybe you have heard of a durable power of attorney for finances or for health care or a living will, which is really an advanced directive or a health care directive. In Washington, uh, we can use all of those terms to talk about your written uh, directions as to what happens in the event that you are at end of life. Now, why these living documents are so important is that they protect you during your lifetime should something happen to you such that you lose capacity. So if you are an adult over the age of 18 and you want to make sure that you are protected if something happens to you, if you're in an accident or if some health condition occurs, you need to have in place your durable powers of attorney. So let's talk about those. Why is it called durable? The reason that the term durable is used is that if you lose capacity, that document you signed remains in effect. It stays in place. The authority under the durable power of attorney continues. So it's really important that your power of attorney be a durable power of attorney. If it is not, and if something happens to you such that you can't make your own decisions, then the state will step in. The court basically takes over and will make the decisions for you through a court-ordered guardianship and conservatorship. So to avoid having the state take over and make decisions, you need to have a durable power of attorney in place. Now, this is one of the reasons that people don't want to do any kind of estate planning, because in order to think about the need for one, you're saying, well, I could lose capacity or, you know, something could happen to me. And most people go along in their lives and think, I don't need one. I'm in great health. I'm able to make my own decisions. But see, that's what estate planning is all about, is planning for the what ifs. Because if you plan for the what ifs and put the necessary estate planning documents in place, then you don't have to worry about those what ifs. You've already prepared for those. And if they don't happen, fantastic. But if something does happen, you are protected. You and your family will not be in court in having somebody else make decisions for you. So the durable power of attorney is so important. What is the durable power of attorney? It is the document where you say in writing that if I can't make decisions, I designate somebody else to make decisions for me. Typically, if you're married, that will be your spouse. You also need to have a backup person to that spouse. What if you and your spouse are both in that same car accident and both of you are incapacitated. So you want a successor person designated as your attorney in fact, and ideally you want somebody designated beyond that person. So you name the first attorney in fact, a successor, and then an alternate successor. And we, don't, we recommend that you do not have joint decision makers. We don't want a committee. We want somebody who has the legal authority, somebody that you trust, somebody that you've appointed to take care of your affairs in the event you cannot do so. A durable power of attorney can be for finances and for health, or you can separate out that document so that you have one for finances and one for healthcare decisions. The reason that we at ELG Estate Planning like to have those as separate documents is because our durable powers of attorney are quite comprehensive. We anticipate uh, or try to anticipate every situation and every authority that you might want to include in your estate planning document. And so those documents can get quite lengthy because they are comprehensive. And so we like to separate it out because your finances and talking about your finances is different than talking about your healthcare decisions. Also, sometimes people want to have 
for example, their daughter to make uh, decisions for their finances, their son to make decisions for their health care. And so if you want different people to be designated as the person with authority for decision making, having two separate documents, a durable power of attorney for finances and one for health care makes a lot of sense. These documents, these living documents, the durable powers of attorney are often um, overlooked. One of the reasons for that is that if people who are preparing estate planning documents, um, or if they're not elder law attorneys, they often don't have the experience of seeing what happens with incapacity, with progressive dementia, with you know the things that happen in life so an estate planning and elder law attorney will rarely recommend to you that you have just a will or just a trust because that is inadequate it's extremely important that when you're looking at what is the right estate plan for you that you have a comprehensive estate plan i'm not saying a complex one i'm saying a comprehensive estate plan and a comprehensive estate plan will include the living documents, especially the durable powers of attorney.